In this video, I'm going to show you a good money play, a really good passing play that works really well against any type of coverage in this game. And I'm going to show you how to set up this play and how to adjust your routes on the field as well as how to adjust your personnel um, to get the most out of it. So um, we're going to go to the five wide trio formation and the play is called mesh right here. And this is a custom playbook, but this play as well as formation can be found in the Bears, Bucks, and Rams playbook. So, mesh right here. And I'm going to show you this play against a cover 2, cover 3, and man-to-man -man coverage. And it works great against cover 4 as well, but you basically set it up the same way as you would against a cover 3. So, um, I'm not going to show you that, but basic 3-4, cover 3 right here. So, we get to the plate. You can tell this is a cover three by one deep safety. And if you're facing the defense, the corners on the left side of the field are lined up diagonally, or occasionally they might be stacked on top of each other. We know this is a cover three. So, our first adjustment we're going to make is to streak the X receiver right here. Um, you have to do that for the plate to work. You can also curl him, but you have to do one of those two. We're going to curl him against a cover four. So, our first read on this play is going to be uh, the wheel route out there to the left. And I like to use a running back right there because more than likely you will be hit after you catch the ball. You want to hold on to it so that you don't fumble it. So um, let's run that. And as you can see, the wheel is wide open. Um, the corner just does not get out there quick enough, and that's why the play works. Now watch the corner in front of the X receiver right there. He's responsible for the flat, but he does not get out there quick enough. Um, in fact, he backs up. You can watch him. He'll back up instead of going down to the flat, and that's what leaves the wide receiver wide open. So again, he just backs up, um, and it's wide open. I'll show you that one more time. And you're going to want to throw the ball quick because eventually he will go out there and cover it. So... Try to get the ball out quick, make the read quick, get the ball out there quick. Our second read on this play is going to be the X receiver streak route or seam route. And that is more than likely going to be open as well. Um, you're going to want somebody um, preferably tall but that has really good catching because he's going to get hit more than likely as soon as he catches the ball. You want him to have good catching. Um, the receiver that has the best hands on your team, you're probably going to want to put him right there. And precision this route inside or up the field. Do not do it outside or down because a linebacker or corner might get it. Um, so precision it either to the right or up the field or a little bit of both. And if you've got a fast receiver right there, um, he might can outrun the safeties and it can be an easy score. So that is your second read. Your third and fourth reads are going to be the post and the drag route coming across the field at the same time that creates a levels concept um, a levels passing concept you're going to want to wait until these routes pass the right inside linebacker who is lined up in front of the right tackle right there and you're going to read one of the linebackers on the left side of the field um, whether it's the left inside linebacker or the left outside linebacker um, or even if it's a corner out there um, wait to read that man and if he comes down to the drag, you hit the post. If he stays um, sinking with the post, you hit the drag. Um, watch right here. We wait for them to pass that linebacker, the right linebacker. And um, he came down, the left one came down to the drag, so we hit the post. Right here, he stays with the post. I mean, he stays with the drag, so we hit the post. Um, okay, let's see that couple more times and uh, right there he sunk okay the, the drag was open um, and you usually will get about five to ten yards from hitting the drag as well even if he stays down there you can still throw it and um right there I was supposed to throw it to the post but the drag is usually open um, and that is against a cover three say we're going against a cover four you can tell it's a cover four. The two safe, or the two corners will be lined up next to each other, and they will be backed off, and there will be two deep safeties. So um, that's a cover four. We curl the X receiver right there, 
and you're going to see he's wide open. It's going to look the exact same against a cover four as it did right there. And I like to wait just a second because the corner that's in the deep blue, he'll run over to the wheel route and you get a seam that you can usually split the safeties if you've got a fast guy and you might can score from that as well. So that is what a cover four would look like. Now we're going to move on to a cover two and how to be it. So, let's go to mesh, and 3-4, um, basic cover 2 with the flat zones, um, not against a pink zone or a buzz zone, although it works as well. I'll show you how that works. Our first read, our first adjustment is going to be to streak the A receiver. Secondly, we're going to um, put the B outside right receiver in a smoke screen, and we're going to read the A receiver as our first read. I think... You know, it's rarely ever open, but you have to streak him for the play to work. And, um, you know, like right there, you have to throw it just right. It's very risky, and I don't recommend it. But you have to do it for the play to work. In case the linebacker's not there, he might be open. So our primary read is going to be the corner route. Um, and it is going to be open, um, more than likely. So, um, the reason it's open is because the corner back comes down to cover the smoke screen because that corner's in a flat so he's going to cover the smoke screen and we're attacking the outside of the safety's deep blue zone out there with our corner route and um just lob it over the linebacker kind of precision it outside it should always be open you can pick up a good chunk of yards like that um now we're going to pretend like we're going against a cover two sink right here the corner um right here he's going to come down but in a cover two sink he's going to stay back with the corner route and the smoke screen is going to be open so watch the corner he goes back up and uh we got the smoke screen wide open um it's going to work a lot better than that if you're actually playing in a cover two or against a cover two sink so that's cover two and lastly we will look at man-to-man -man coverage right here basic three four man um our adjustment um, we're always going to be expecting to go against cover three the majority of madden players run cover three so um just say your opponent has disguised um cover three as man-to-man -man coverage or if he presses the corners this is what it's going to look like the wheel would still be open if it was cover three but we look at the wheel um he gets followed so it's man and we're going to go straight to that corner route you need to have a receiver with good route running out there so he can beat his man. Um, a guy like Antonio Brown has 99 route running. Um, and I don't think any corner in the game can cover that. So um, that's a very good option um, to use out there. Now your opponent will catch on to you doing that if you do that every time he runs man. So he might put a safety in a flat zone or a buzz zone, a pink zone. Um, to cover that and stop you from doing that. So you're going to want to look out there to see if it's covered. If it is covered, you're going to move straight on to the post route. And the post is really um, almost always going to be open as well unless your opponent is using a linebacker out there. The post is always going to be going against a linebacker, so you know linebackers don't usually have great man coverage. Um, and you can put a receiver out there. I use a tight end is what I prefer, but you can use a receiver. And that's our second read. Our third read is going to be the drag route coming across the field. Um, and I just like to have a fast guy out there running that. <clears throat> As you can see, he outran the corner. He already gets a step on him because he comes in motion. And um, the corner's not going to be able to cover him. And uh, throw it. If you get a block right there, you can pick up um, you know, 5 to 10 yards, usually maybe more than that. So that is your third read. And... I'll just show you, um, if you've got a fast quarterback and your opponent has called on to you um, running the corner route, I just would streak this receiver out here and um, just drop back. And this is if you've got a fast quarterback, you can um, run. As you can see, the whole field is pretty much cleared out, and you can pick up a good chunk of yards that way. So 
um, a lot of options against man-to-man -man coverage. This play really um, burns man-to-man. -man. So that's the play. Again, cover three, left side of the field, that's what it looks like. Cover two, you adjust the right side of the field, that is what that looks like. Cover four, curl the X receiver, and that is the play right there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you find this play to be very effective.